Hi, welcome back to the Allen Bradley PLC Test Bench. Today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to change the backlight in an older Panel View 550. Uh, it's quite simple, quite easy. Uh, we're going to change from incandescent to LED. And you should always change out to LED. The incandescent over time, because of the heat ge generated, will end up burning the ends of the fiber optics. This is a common problem and the LEDs we supply and use have come up with a fix for this. So we'll just uh, get swung around here and uh, set it up and show you. Okay, we're back. So here, here we are. I've got a panel view 550. It's uh, just a standard unit. And to change the backlight, and it doesn't matter whether it's got keypad or touch screen or anything else, you take and press here and lever this open. Now sometimes it's a little more difficult than others. What I've found sometimes easier, just get your screwdriver in there and lightly, not a lot of force, lightly push it open. You open it up, here is your backlight assembly. Right here is our incandescent light, this is the holder for it, here's our fiber optic, and there's a little lens in between it. Now, this has only been on for a few minutes, but it's already warm. And over time, if you don't have airflow, that gets warmer and warmer and warmer. So, first thing you do is power it down. It's always a good safety precaution. You take, and this wire here is kind of looped around, and it's plugged together. And it's got a little clip on there, you can push it down and wiggle this apart. It uh, definitely is good and tight and that's what you want. Okay, this unit here just take and grab hold of it with your hand and pop it out. There it is there. Here's our incandescent bulb. Put it off to the side. Now here's our bundle of fiber optic lines that go to the front screen. Now as you can see, when we grab our LED replacement, which is this guy right here, the end of it has a piece of heat shrink on it that's sized for this. What you want to do is take this little plastic clip out. Take a small screwdriver that fits there night into those uh, slots and take this out. Comes out quite easily. And remember to uh, be careful with the screws. Don't drop them like I just did. Because if they drop inside, you'll have to take the entire unit apart. Now you take this and it just slides right off. There's our lens assembly. There's a piece of glass in the middle here really hard to see I can, and it's just a plastic holder. Put that off to the side. Take your LED replacement and it slides onto the end. You have to work it in there and you get it down as far as it will go and then that clips right in there. This plugs together and there's a notch on the bottom here and a slot here so that you can only put it one way. Clip it in and just kind of push it back in there. If you want you could always put a you know like a little tie wrap or something on there and power it up and you can see just power it down there and power it back up and you can see that this is now on there and that is all nice and bright and you're done. Um, you, depending upon where it is, you may want to put, again, a piece of tape around there or a small tie wrap or just leave it as is. Take your cover, place it back on, slide it over until it clicks and there you are, you've successfully changed your LED, your backlight on your Panel View 550. 
Thanks a lot. Come back again. I'll try and post videos a little more often than I have been lately. And uh, subscribe if you want. Thank you.